Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is good to be back. So I was thinking about uh, gluten-free cooking and things. I've had a lot of questions about how I do gluten-free cooking and how I do it very inexpensively. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some recipes. Uh, the first one today is going to be my cream of mushroom soup. And we use that for like a tuna noodle, crap, tuna noodle casserole. And um, I also use it, uh, especially around Thanksgiving, for the green bean casserole. Of course, that's really good so you can have it like any time of the year. But those are the main things I use them for. So this technique for the cream of mushroom soup is the same that you would do for cream of celery soup, cream of asparagus soup, cream of chicken soup. Um, it's also the same technique to do uh, gravy. So like breakfast gravy, white gravy, or sausage gravy, or um, bacon gravy. So really this is the same technique for all of those. And then you can make a big batch and put them in like glass mason jars, maybe like the pint size, and can them. I'm not a expert canner. I've only canned a few things, but I'm sure if you Google it, you can find a way to do it because anything in the store that you find on the shelves in cans that you can can. So, um, so you can make a big batch and then have it on hand and have inexpensive gluten-free cream of mushroom soup because I've gone to the store to get it and it's like, you know, two over $2 and you can make it for next to nothing at home. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started on that cream of mushroom soup. Today we're gonna to make gluten-free cream of mushroom soup. You want whatever it's gonna be. So this is gonna be cream of mushroom. So there's my mushrooms. Otherwise you'd saute some chicken or um, saute some celery and asparagus. You can do that as well. But you need whatever your item is. So we have mushrooms. You need salt and pepper. You also need flour. We're do going to do this gluten-free. So I have gluten-free flour here. I've used all different types of gluten-free flour as far as um, the equivalent to gluten-free all-purpose flour. This one is King Arthur brand, but um, I've used the Great Value brand. I've used Bob's Red Mill. I've used Pillsbury. They're all good. And then also some milk. <clears throat> and, um, and then that's your base for making the cream of mushroom soup. Oh, and butter. I also forgot the butter. So you'll need the butter as well. Butter, flour, salt and pepper, mushrooms, and milk. One tip in washing your mushrooms. I don't use a damp towel and just wipe them. I know I'm not getting all the dirt off. I run them under water and I wipe each individual one under water. Um, I know that I've heard, I've heard that the mushrooms can absorb the water if you run them under the water. But um, I was watching, I think it was a Good Eats, and Alton Brown was saying that that was a myth. And so he just wiped some mushrooms. He, he weighed them, wiped some mushrooms, and weighed them again. Then he weighed some mushrooms, soaked them in water, and then weighed them again, and there was almost zero difference. So, um, so that's what I do. I just uh, wash them really well underwater and get all of that dirt off of them. The first step is to go ahead and cut your mushrooms. I've already washed them, and so I'm taking the stem off and just cut the end of the stem that's dry, and then you can use the rest of it. So I don't want to waste any of my mushrooms. I like to dice them and they don't have to be like too tiny, but you don't want them too big. So if you see here, just small. And dice those up. The whole eight ounce container is what I use. And these are baby bell mushrooms. So they're the baby portobello mushrooms. You can use white mushrooms. I love the earthiness of these mushrooms. So that's why I use these. Um, but you could use white. It's not going to give you that um, flavor, the stronger mushroom flavor. It'll just be more of a subtle hint. But I like the baby bella mushrooms for pretty much 
anything. It's my go-to mushroom. Um, but let's see. You could use the large mushrooms, but still only eight ounces is necessary. So I'm going to get to finishing these. with a little bit of olive oil just to um, kind of get them softened a little bit. Adding some olive oil, just a couple of tablespoons. Cause I don't care as long as you're there, as long as you're there. Baby, we can do this all night, keep on second guessing I love. down I'm gonna add a half a stick of butter which is a quarter of a cup and melt that in there the trick to making because basically cream of mushroom or celery or chicken or asparagus any of those creamed soups is basically like a gravy. So cream of mushroom soup is basically a mushroom gravy. And the key to any gravy is equal parts of fat to flour. And so I'm doing a half a stick of butter, which is the equivalent of a quarter cup. So a quarter cup of butter, and then I'll do a quarter cup of gluten-free flour. Is that all melted? And I'm just getting it all over all of the mushrooms here. So I'm taking a quarter cup of flour, dumping that right in. And then I'm going to make sure it coats all of the mushrooms and gets wet with all of the butter. Make sure you scrape the bottom because you don't want that flour to burn on the bottom. Scrape it up and get it all in there. So you want to cook it for just a minute or two to get the flour taste out before adding your liquid. Now you could also use ghee with this or lard or something if you don't want to have dairy. But now I'm going to add the milk if you don't want it, if you want it to be dairy free, you could just add a dairy free milk to this. So, just trying to scrape all those bits. And I'm going to switch to my whisk. So, I poured in three cups of milk. And you need to keep it on medium high because you want it to start to come to a boil and that's what's going to thicken. It's going to activate that flour and thicken the gravy. So I'm just whisking to make sure there's no clumps of flour. But that's why I leave those mushrooms in there because when the flour coats on the mushrooms, it doesn't clump as easily as if you were to not have them in there at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my salt and pepper, and that's just to taste. So I'm gonna start out with about a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of salt, and we'll just taste it along the way. And then I just shake in some pepper. It may be a quarter of a teaspoon or so. 
like I said, just to taste. If you don't like pepper, don't put pepper in. If you have a salt-free diet, don't put, the, put in the salt. And this is the same you do even if you were doing a sausage gravy or a bacon gravy. Uh, you do the same thing. We're just waiting for the milk to come up to temperature to start to boil and then we'll turn it down. I want to be daring baby dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun you can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better I like mushrooms You do? I have another pack in the fridge You can do better I dare you to be wilder I don't fit into your box Beauty queens with final flaws You can do better That's it. There you have it. Cream and mushroom soup. Okay, so as you can see, it's nice and thick. I'd taken it off of the burner. But as soon as it came to a boil, I turned it down to low for 30 seconds to maybe a minute, and it was thickened up. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had a great time showing you how to make this cream of mushroom soup. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you have any tips or suggestions, we'd all love to hear them. So if you share them down in the comments below, we can all benefit from that. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and um, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.